Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at an introduction to coordinates. A coordinate is a way of finding a position in maths. And we find a position using the coordinate plane. This is a coordinate plane here and it's made up of an x-axis and a y-axis. The x-axis is the horizontal axis. Horizontal mean, uh, means going across like the horizon, horizontal, horizon. So the x-axis is an axis going across, and it's just a bunch of numbers, positive and negative, going left and right. Similarly, the y-axis is the axis going up and down. It is vertical, going up and down, vertical. And it's made from numbers, positive numbers and negative numbers, going up and down. The origin is the special name we give for the point in the middle at zero across, zero up. This is, uh, so we call that special uh, position the origin. And then we have four quadrants. And these are the four quadrants labelled here, which split up the coordinate plane into four equal quarters, four equal quadrants. Now, let's see how we will plot some coordinates on the coordinate plane. So, x and y, we write coordinates in brackets like this with a comma in the middle. And the first number represents the x coordinate, the second number represents the y coordinate. So the x and the y, the x and the y. So this point is 3, 5, the 3 represents the x, and the 5 represents, 5 represents the y. So that's 3 and 5, 3 across and 5 up, 3, 5, like that. And that is the coordinate 3, 5 there, 3 across and 5 up. I've used pencil lines here, I've drawn lines from 3 going up and 5 going across to see where they cross over. And some people prefer to use, use a pencil and ruler in the exams to help find the exact coordinate accurately. Now you might also be asked to find the coordinates of a point uh, like this one. So you've got a point P on the screen and we want to find the coordinates of point P. And I can see that a 6 across and 3 up. So we write 6, 3. It's really important it's in that order. So the x coordinate goes first and the 3 goes second. 6, 3. Now we've also can think about negative numbers now. So now we have to point, plot the coordinate minus 3, minus 2 on the coordinate plane. And that's minus 3 across, minus 2 up. And that means minus 3 to the left and minus 2 going down. Because the minus number means going down. So minus 3, minus 2, looks like this. And we plot that coordinate there, minus 3, minus 2. Now we've got a full task to do where we ask to find the coordinates of P, Q and R. And it also asks to plot A, B and C. So let's start by finding the coordinates of P from the table. It says find the coordinates of P. And P is minus 4 across and minus 3 down, because it aligns with minus 4 and minus 3. And we can fill in the table over here to say minus 4, minus 3. Next, it's to find the coordinates of Q, which is 2 across and minus 1 down. 2, minus 1, like that. Now it says plot the coordinates of A, which is minus 3, minus 3, which is minus 3 across and minus 3 down, like this, minus 3, minus 3. The coordinates of B is 5 minus 1, 5 across, and minus 1 down goes here. We are plotting B like this. Next it says find the coordinates of R. So we're looking for point R up here. And R is 4 across and 2 up, like this. Finally, find, uh, plot the coordinates C, minus 1, 2. Minus 1 across and 2 up would go here, minus 1, 2. 
and we've plotted all those coordinates and found the coordinates of those points. We are done. That is the end of today's examples. It is now time for you to have a go with some practice questions here. I'd like to pause the video and try this yourself. If you're using an iPad, you could even screenshot it and plot the coordinates on your screenshot with your pencil. When you're ready, I can reveal the answers in three, two, one. Here you go. Did you get it correct? Let me know how well you did in the comments below. Thank you for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. <clears throat> Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Covering GCC, A level, and IB maths with quick and simple explanations. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.